So I just put on cycling clothes for the first time in like two and a half weeks. Uh, feels weird. All right, today I am doing one of my favorite 30 mile routes from my front door. This is down. Little cockpit tour. So, top two bag I've always had. Woo! I will keep things in there like AirPod case, glasses, GoPro batteries, food, different things like that. Got this Ultra Cycle light, which I use for visibility in the daytime. That thing lasts forever. But on the right side, I have a Night Rider mount. So you can see I got my cycling computer mounted on a KOM cycling mount. And on the front of that, you'll see the GoPro. And the GoPro mount is awesome. Half twist. And I can take the GoPro off film, put it back on. No problem. And then I've got this Elkhorn rack by Old Man Mountain Racks. And, you know, when I ride bikes, I was on some cargo. So, that's what that's about. That's my rain jacket, wind jacket, for when it gets a little colder this afternoon. Anyway, I'm gonna drop down for trail. This descent's so fun, it's like 16%. And, head down to the beach. This is the start of Caliguish Creek. And this is a bike path up by Old Town Camarillo. And the previous county supervisor wanted to turn this into a bike path. We shall see if the next county supervisor wants to do the same. I will be advocating that they do. Right now it's actually different because there's running water. That's new. So there's actually been weather recently. So yeah, that's really nice. And that's what makes this trail so great. 
is the, the nature of it all. I mean, I think that proves it right there. I mean, this is a place that people want to come. They want to spend time. It's away from the road. You feel somewhat secluded. I mean, look at that view. It's just you, farmland, and this usually empty creek. It's just, it's so nice. Like, gravel's like the cool thing right now, right? So. All they really need is to remove some certain signs and put some welcome signs. That's just beautiful. I love it here. I love it here. Like it's so beautiful. This path could be turned into a multi-use path, a recreation path. I think it's fine just as is. They kind of just need to add um, welcome signs and wayfinding signs. But this is a grade separated direct access route to the beach from Old Town Camarillo. And it's off the road, it's peaceful. And right now, since it's been rain, there's water in it, which I'm super <laughs> excited about. Um, this needs to become a recreation path. Yeah, it's like a nice, I think from Petrail Road where I started to where I'm going, I think it's probably like four miles um, all along the creek and it's all along gravel. But I don't know what it's like north of here. One day I need to do it all, but let's keep going. point where you got Caligua's Creek on the left and uh, I don't know what this one is on the right but it's definitely got a more steady flow. All right, so now that we made it out of the wash, out of Caligua's Creek, now we've got to play Frogger going across PCH. Then we go down PCH, right along the coast for a while before we hit up Sycamore Canyon. Let's go play Frogger. All right, look left. go after this car. So this ride, I'm at an hour, six, an hour, 16 minutes. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty fast getting here. This is usually a three hour ride, if I remember correctly. Making this a two hour goal could be good for the future. 
and future fitness. Honestly, eating potatoes and eggs is probably way better than way better than any bar, anything like that. You can see the island's really pretty today. Even though it's cloudy. And then there's even like a, with my glasses on, like a teal layer. I'm gonna eat up these potatoes, these eggs, and uh, get going up Sycamore Canyon. So lucky to live in such a beautiful place. All right, I made it across the PCH of death and I could start heading in to Sycamore Canyon, which you have to go through the Sycamore Cove Beach campsites, which is right here. Entrance to some of the best riding in the mountains in Ventura County. Whew. And let me tell you, after stopping and being a little sweaty, it's fucking cold. I tell you what, Sycamore Canyon is so beautiful. I love it here. It's green on the sides because we just got the rains, but also it's still fall, so. In a late fall in here. I'm thankful for it. It is awfully, awfully beautiful. That's when the gravel turns to pavement, and it's pavement all the way up to Newbury Park, about three and a half, four miles. And you gotta go up the biggest climb. I mean, it's not the biggest, it's just steep and short, and I still got a zigzag. So here we are at the climb. Yeah, it's like three quarters of a mile. And it goes up like 500 feet, something like that, maybe 400. That's going up all right. And I will just keep pedaling and maybe zigzag to make the grade. Just a little bit more bearable. Okay, now's that point where it's not fun. There's no strategy. There's no way to get around this. This sucks, but you gotta do it because all the other riding doesn't suck. The truth is I've been off the bike for three weeks, so this is extra sucking. Up. That's where we come from. And that up there, that's where we're going. Down the Sycamore Canyon. People call this Blacktop Hill. <sighs> this has been a good measure of my bike fitness though, over the years. First time going up this is a huge celebration. And it's still a celebration every time. Make it to the top. Ah. 
made it up Black Top Hill. Oh yeah. It feels so good to be back on the bike. It feels so good in this hill. But it's always rewarding, always. And it always feels so good to make it up. I think we might get a little bit of a sunset, but I'm hungry. I'm gonna go cook a steak, edit this video. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the route uh, that I've, so my bike computer died at the beach. So I'm gonna make a route that starts uh, at Sycamore Canyon. And I'll put that link in the description below. So if you want to do this ride, it's a great ride. It's about 30 miles. You can add, you know, a thousand foot climb. You can add a three mile long single track. Um, there's a lot you can add out here. And so I'll put the simple route down here so that if you're in the Los Angeles area, you can come out here and ride. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to start making these little videos. I wanna make like less produced videos more where I'm kinda just hanging out and uh, you get to know me a little better as opposed to what I'm talking about. So, what's up? I'm Trent, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching these videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.